Hello everybody, this is your amateur aquaponics guy and it is a beautiful Friday afternoon here in sunny Central Florida and um, I want to show you something that I'm doing in my garden a little bit different. I actually saw this a few months ago, or maybe a year ago, um, and I said, you know, I want to try that. Just never got around to it. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, see this right here? That's water and it's dripping um, very slowly as you can see. And I'm gonna use this to uh, irrigate my pots that, that I have in the soil, or anything that I have in the soil. Uh, this is called uh, drip ir irrigation or free drip irrigation or bottle drip irrigation, um, call it whatever. But this is really cool. So how it works is you take a glue, well, I use my, bar my son's glue gun and I put a hole in here, big enough for a straw. Put a straw, just a piece of a straw, filled it with cotton. With um, cotton, um, I borrowed some of my wife's cotton balls that she uses to do her nails, and I stuffed it with, you know, cotton. And then what I did is just put uh, water in there, and I put a little hole, very small hole, right here on top. And what it does, it just, it just slowly just drips. Uh, so your plants uh, stay water just around the clock and it's really cool and naturally I got the water from my fish tank so it already has the nutrients in it and I don't have to put any um, any type of chemicals or anything on my plants so I'm gonna show you uh, what I, I did two of them I'm gonna make one and I'll do it on the video oh you know you know what I'm just looking at there's a worm Wait a minute, let me show you something. There's a worm on the end of that straw. Maybe you can see it, you see it? Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a worm. Huh. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna make another one and I'm gonna show you guys, you know, um, how that works. It's not that, it's not that hard, it's, it's really easy, so. Um, in the next few weeks, because my, my kids, they go through these things. So I told them to save these. So in the next few weeks, I'm going to have uh, a lot of pots um, with soil. And each one of them is going to have one of these. And it. it's going to be really fun to, uh, to see how, how better my plants look using this. So stick around and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I'm back. Wow, it's a little very breezy and very windy this afternoon. And it's nice though, it's still warm. Um, so I got my supplies, what I'm gonna need to, to make another one. I'm gonna show you. Drill. Uh, scissors. Cotton ball. Little piece of straw. I'm gonna take and one of these, you know, Little bottle, and it can, it can be any bottle. It doesn't have to be this particular, you know. It can be any any bottle, any water container, or bottle juice container. It doesn't matter. I just use these because this is what we drink in my house, and you know my kids just go through them. So I'm going to end up having a bunch of these. All right. So let's see. Ooh. Almost forgot the glue gun.
what I'm doing. Um, the hole, I made the hole a little too big. So the, when I put the straw in, there was a lot of space. There was some space on the outside. <clears throat> so I just cut a piece of this, this cloth and used it and put it kind of like a gasket. Um, so there, there's gonna be like a little drip from here, but that's fine as long as as long as there's a drip, doesn't matter. So because I'm I'm not gonna throw the the bottle away just because I made the hole just a little too big. Not not gonna do that. All right. So um, the last thing we do is <clears throat> we take the top and we put a little piece of tape to cover the hole just a little bit because the bigger the hole the faster the drip the more air that comes through here the faster the drip so we don't want it to drip too fast so that's why I put a little piece of tape in here and just kind of adjust it you know that'll slow it down a little bit just like that all right so let's test it out There it is. See it dripping. Nice. So I'm gonna put this one right here with this pepper plant. Now I know this pepper plant looks small, but let me tell you, last year I got a lot of peppers from this little, little guy right here. So we're gonna see if we can keep them around for a while. And there's the trick.